that would help. Hello, let me turn down the... <laughs> Goodness, I'm a mess. How are you, everybody? Anybody, whoever is tuning in, if you are at all. Um, welcome to, uh, not Twitch Tuesday. Twitch Wednesday, I guess, but it doesn't really roll off the tongue very well, you know? That's what she said. Ha ha ha. Um, it is National Tell a Joke Day, so uh, feel free to tell a joke to me in the chat if you want to. Um, and uh, why am I streaming tonight and calling it Twitch Tuesday when it isn't? Um, it's because Tuesdays I don't think are going to work for me anymore for doing my game streaming. I have too much to take care of, apparently. Whereas Wednesdays now, I think I can do it. So I'm going to start moving it to Wednesday, but I need a better name. I don't know what to call it. We Play Wednesday is kind of my, my leading contender, but I don't know if I like it. So, um... Yeah. I'm going to put in the uh, chat room my PayPal address for anybody who feels like dropping a few bucks to buy me a sandwich. I don't need you to, by the way. I'm not destitute. I'm not like, oh my gosh, please send me some money. I can't afford to live anymore. I just, you know, if you like the content and you want to support it, by all means, I have it there for you. And you can drop me some dollars if you want. No pressure, no big deal. I'm not going to be sad if you don't. I'm not going to yell at you. You don't have to subsidize my whiskey habit. <laughs> but, um, so yeah. I'm going to play some, uh, some more Gotham Knights. I'm pretty far in the game. I'm, I think I'm getting towards the end of the campaign. And, um, there's a new game plus, so I know I'm going to be doing that. Right now, I'm just kind of doing the patrol things, the, the little side missions to uh, get legendary gear, so that I can be fully kitted out before the end and before I do a new game plus, because I want to have a full set on everybody before I do that. I might just get bored and eventually do it anyway. But, um... So that's the plan. So you guys can watch me do that. So it's going to be kind of a casual evening. Which means mostly I'm just going to be chatting for anybody who wants to chat. You know. Let me uh, make a post about it. Play, if you have not played this game yet, you can play as there's four different characters you can switch off pretty much any time. And right now, I'm playing as you can see as Batgirl. Combos everywhere. That was supposed to be very hard, and that honestly was not that bad. It was actually super good. <laughs> well, okay. But I'm pretty built up on my skills and things. 
So, um, so that would explain it. Pretty built up on my skills. Let me adjust my seating here. Ooh, there we go. Okay. Alright. I've got the tablet here to look at the chat, so if anybody jumps in here, I will know that you're here. So feel free to say hello. Say hello. Hello, hello. Guys, you telegraph way too much. Shoot that at me, please. More butt yeah. heads to deal with. More butt heads. There's a more coming. I'm gonna walk. That's Why enough out of you guys. Do things the hard way. Oh man. Oh man, oh man, oh golly, oh man. Okay. Yeah, like I said, this is gonna be super casual. I'm just running around doing this kind of thing. Nothing real special. So you might be bored, or you might not. Maybe you just want to see some casual Gotham gameplay. And that's okay. Because that's all I'm in the mood for doing. I am going to do um, some pretty hardcore games one of these days here. I'm going to do... Um, Amnesia, the bunker, which I've been meaning to do for a while, and um, yeah. <laughs> I hate when this park goes sideways. I bet you do. So far, the best fast travel person actually has been Nightwing because he has a drone that can actually like fly up and over everything and keep it at an even keel. Everybody else loses some momentum, um, or loses some height rather. Like you can see, Batgirl's glide is slowly sinking down a little bit, and um, Jason Todd's. His, uh, his little mystical jump thing does the same thing. Um, Robin's move is kind of cumbersome. But Nightwing's is the only one so far. It actually manages to... You can just fly it around the whole city like constantly if you want.
pretty smooth. Nice. Oh my god, thank you! You are welcome, citizen. I'm still waiting for Rise of the Triad to release on consoles, and I'm still waiting for System Shock to release on consoles, but I'll be streaming both of those when eventually they get here. I streamed a little bit of Quake 2, and that was awesome. That brought back some memories. Oh my gosh, Quake 2. Looks like some sort of hideout. It's about as hard as I remember it. <laughs> Somebody made a mention that maybe the company that did that, Night Dive, might decide to bring back Unreal. Which, um, the first Unreal games were made by Epic Games, and I don't know if they, if the rights to that are open at all for anybody to do. But a re-release of Unreal 1 and 2, and, uh, the original, um, Unreal Tournament Gold Edition, would be fantastic. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. I would love to play those games again. And the expansion packs, but I don't know if they'll ever do that. But it would be great, uh, I mean, people would buy it. I'd buy it. I've been thinking about doing other things on the channel too. Um, I know I've got the uh, the spirits tastings, and I have the games, and I have a limited, super limited set on robot things. I have to do more robot reviews. Like I've only got the two, like the unboxing video and the magic card thing. But um, I'm gonna do more of those. I might do like some food tasting, not like weird foods. Like I don't want to. I don't want to do like the chip challenge and stuff. I don't want to do that kind of stuff. I'm not into that kind of thing. Really. But um, I might get into like if some of the fast food places around here have a new item or something like that, then I'll be like, oh yeah, let me try that. Let me see if that's good, if it's good or if it's terrible or if whatever. Maybe you know. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Maybe I'll go to my local buffet and do a, a review on that, which will be pretty easy because I'll be like, oh man, it's delicious. <laughs> I don't know. Didn't see him going. Whoops. Now, 
shit. Alright. It's safe now. Wow. I mean, wow. Thanks. Wow. I mean, wow. Thanks. Gotta get to safety. Alright. Alright. Bonk. Sorry. I guess I'm not really sorry. I mean, I don't care. I didn't get to listen to it, but whatever. Alright. Sorry, not sorry. La 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 la. I mean, if you think about it, Gotham has to have the absolute worst police force on the history of the planet. Because, like, how can... There's so many just little criminal things all over the entire city, everywhere. Like, for real? Is that it? Is that everybody? That was bad. Is there somebody shooting around her? Alright, okay, I see. Alright. Alright. Making me irritated. There we go. Goodness. How about I just whoop you? There you go. Bye. All right. Thanks, Zero. You better get home. You're our well.
Yeah, that's me stopping the dog from hurting herself because she'll constantly sit over there and scratch and chew and do things. But that's fine. Because today I'm not by myself here, so when somebody else is done making their food, then they'll be able to watch her. So it just takes a second to get her to stop, so that's fair. The problem is when she has to go to the bathroom and she has to go in the kitchen or something like that. Because, like for right now, she went to the bathroom already. I've taken her outside. She's already had both of her messes. She's all good. Now she's just acting up. She's just acting up, so she's fine. But um, on Tuesdays, I'm by myself, and that's where the problem is because I can't do both things at once. Cleaning up a dog mess is much different than just stopping her from scratching herself. She's over there mad at me. She's chuffing and growling and grumping at me. Oh well. She's an old dog. You guys know that. I've talked about her before. She's old and she just needs extra care. And so, priorities, right? The dog takes priority over my game stream. It's just how it goes, folks. Happy to have you back. Babs, can I ask you something about uh, appointments? Sure. What's up? How do you get around it when you need to talk about, you know, work? Yeah. I give everyone a code name. The gangs are my frustrating clients. The court is my <laughs> neighbor. Talia is the annoying cousin who keeps showing up unannounced. Oh. That's so smart. Wait. Who am I? <laughs> who was gone for a while. And I'm very, very happy to have that. I'm not... little. <laughs> I love you too, Jason. Alright. Come here, Mr. Kitten. There's a kitten here, by the way, too. He's trouble. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Oh, I think that's the last bit that she needs. She's got this... Excellent. Yeah. I can make a suit. Oh, yeah. A legendary suit. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna build that. Who didn't build that? Oh, yes, I did, sir. Okay. Now I have to undo her mods. Because you can mod everything. She was wearing a suit that only had one mod, so. If she needs to go into the kitchen, she can go now. Just there's somebody else here to check on her. I don't know if you got folks can hear that. That's the dog fussing. That's how she is. You know, that's just how it goes. I've told you before, she's old, she needs assistance. And with two people, it's easier to take care of them with one person. So let me What kind of mods do I want to put on there? If I want to put on hmm, almost all these are health mods, but that's fine. I'll get some legendary ones, I'm sure. So, we'll put that on there. Can't go wrong with more health. There we go. Okay. And then I will put the suit on. There we go. And I can modify that suit in the looks. So let's see what I can do. Unlocked the Delta coloring, so that's cool. That one's probably the one I'd pick. That's the classic. But they all look pretty good. I mean, you can do like... Ooh, there's a cat! Mm, ripping a hole in my pants! Don't get excited, anybody. It was not as exciting as it sounded. Okay, so there's that. There's the Delta. Or the Alpha. 
I think I think they both look good, but I think the Alpha is more true to the character. But the Delta looks pretty good. I don't know. They both look really good. I'm going to go with the Alpha for now. But now we can alter the cowl to make it more classic looking. Probably that one, because she had the smaller ears, I think. Symbol. I'll go with the classic there. That. The black boots. There we go. So let's take a look. Now we're talking. Alright. All legendary gear. So she'll be pretty much set. I just have to finish leveling up her gear. And then I'll work back. I'm still working on Night uh, Nightwing because he has one legendary thing, but that's it. Um, oh, they added a whole bunch more of these. This list got like twice as long as it was. Oh my goodness. Let's see. There's all kinds of like little challenges and things around. This game is full of collectible things. You got book pages, you got batarangs, you got audio logs, you've got the different criminals that you can fight, you've got Oh, so many things. Pardon me there. And you get emails from other famous characters in the universe. Like she gets emails once in a while from Wonder Woman. You got a back and forth with Penguin when you were working with him. Um Superman once uh emailed Dick Grayson about his consult condolences about Batman and things, so it's nice that they've integrated all that different stuff to make it like an actual living universe. I appreciate stuff like that. And they'll talk amongst each other too. Like you come back here and they'll have little discussions about their history. Like it talks about how Jason Todd is trying to get into therapy but he doesn't know how to do it and he doesn't know how to talk about his feelings and that kind of thing so he's asking Barbara to help him with it and all kinds of stuff it's nice to see like I like it and I know some people are going to be irritated by it because that's just how people are and I'm not going to make a big deal about it but it's like they'll they'll have discussions about oh yeah we're going to go to Pride this year do you want to wear your costume can you add rainbows to it stuff like that and I think that's a nice touch because it adds some realism I mean no matter how you feel about it it's stuff that exists in the world, so you can ignore it if you want, and that's fine. But I just think it's a nice touch that they just covered that kind of stuff, you know? It adds a little bit of realism, in my opinion. Doing just hanging out over there, sir. <laughs> Goodness. Yo, really something special. Thanks. I know you don't think Aw, so. thank you. Well, I am something too. special. And then they all have their own little like side stories too. Like th periodically throughout the thing, Batgirl has to wrestle with the fact that she's her <laughs> photographic memory might be going bad because she's having trouble remembering exactly what her father's face looked like and she keeps remembering it as the face of the statue they built for him but everybody else tells her that the statue doesn't look anything like him so it's a tough little thing and like uh Tim has a, a chess set that he rescued from the remains of the bat cave that belonged to to Batman and things like that and he plays chess with Alfred so it's got nice little like they make the, the characters feel like they're just they're actual people because sometimes in the comics they're it's like oh they're just static whatever and they don't do nothing but they're making an effort which I like I always appreciate a game that makes an effort sounds like the dog probably got slapped by a cat 
see the dog will have to go into the kitchen sometimes because she'll get this nervous energy and she'll just spin around and spin around and you know it's fine she's old like I said and the cats will see that and then they'll they'll slap at her which is not you know it's a cat thing it's what they do they either think she's playing or they think that she's being bothersome or something and so they'll just slap her it's kind of a madhouse around here sometimes but that's okay. That's real life, folks. I'm not going to gloss over it for you. As I've told you folks before, I am not a streamer. I'm just a guy who streams, so I don't have any sort of prettied up, like, whatever view of everything. You get a life as it is. Authenticity. I don't know if anybody is watching because on my tablet, the Twitch app does not actually show me the viewers count. So if you're here and you're not chatting, then by all means give me like a thumbs up or something. Found but it. otherwise, okay, I'm just going to assume that nobody's actually watching. It's not a big deal. The bigger they are. Some people are busy and they'll watch after the fact, or they won't watch at all. And just whatever, you just missed the stream. So, heck you. Just kidding. But heck you anyway. Also, if you're interested, there's a lot more content on my YouTube channel. This will be going there. I don't know. I'm a bit slow to upload my Twitch stuff to, to YouTube. I just don't get to it as quickly as I do other things, but it should show up within a day or so. And then uh, there's Spirits Tastings, there's Robot Reviews, not very many. There's um, the podcast, the audio-only podcast is there. It's called Let's Talk About This. My last one was about games, so I talked about games, guys, games, and uh, my next one will be about fast food, because fast food is actually pretty interesting, like, I don't know if you folks know this, but you can get almost anything for fast food, like, there's Italian restaurant fast food, we've got one around here, and I can't really eat there anymore, because almost everything has cheese in it. And you folks know my thing about cheese. I'm going to say that again. But um, still, I've eaten there before in the past before I figured that out about myself. And it's pretty funny. Like, you can actually get, like, spaghetti and stuff. Fast food. Fazoli, as it's called. And one of these days, maybe I'll go there and see if there's anything that I can eat. That might be a good series. Do a series of videos on where can a person who has limited options to eat, where can they eat? Maybe I'll cover places that have like vegan options and like a cheeseless options and stuff. That'd be a good idea for a video series. Would you folks watch that? I'd watch that. Just brainstorming ideas. I know some places, and I'm probably taking away from the episode that I could be talking about, but um, I know places like there's a pizza hut around here, and you can order your pizzas without cheese and things, which is kind of disappointing, but at the same time kind of necessary. I mean, if you don't, can't eat that kind of stuff, you can't eat that kind of stuff. But you can eat everything else. I mean, and even if you're vegetarian, you have a good amount of actual vegetal, vegetal, I don't know what that came from vegetable options they did they were testing too they were testing the vegan sausage 
And some of you people out there look, oh, it's not, it's not real sausage, it's not real sausage. Well, whatever, but it was actually good. I tasted it, and it tasted decent. It wasn't, like, real sausage, of course, because it's not going to be. But it tasted good enough that I would get it, and I would eat it. And then they took it back, and they haven't added it back on. So I don't know if it was just because they're still working through the test data, or if it's just, like, it was a flop, or what. But I'm hoping they bring it back. I like options. I love options. I love optional options. Even if I don't want to order it with the options, I like having the options there. summer, and my house is not very secure at all the time, so you get bugs creeping in through the windows and stuff, like flies and stuff. So, sometimes they go crawling. I love my job. There's one person left. Where are they at? Oh, up there. Alright. Sniper. No sniping. <laughs> Sniper. Try to keep these videos too long. I like to make them Found easily it. digestible for you. For attention spans. You need to step up your game. I guess here's five minutes. <laughs> what else is there to do? Looks like we got a crime in Otisburg. I thought I did this part. Was there another one? Oh well. Now they also have, they have this thing called a heroic assault, which is basically because every game needs to have end game content, they call it. It's called a raid. And you have to go here and go through some kind of like, I guess you go through a dungeon, basically. You go through levels and like waves of enemies and see how far you can get. I haven't tried it yet because I hate that kind of stuff. And I know it's going to be like extra difficult. But I guess you had to go down there and fight Starro's minions because he's down there. And Starro was always a weird choice for me because he's like some intergalactical thing that's basically a giant starfish. And DC had some weird stuff like that. A giant starfish. Like that's Starro. And. I don't know. I've been holding it off. I might go in there just... There's probably an achievement involved with trying it and things like that. But it's probably something that they invented so that you would have to work with the people online and do a cooperative thing. And I get it, and I'm not mad about it, but it's not something that I'm going to probably do. But i got to go and test it one of these days. I don't know. I'm super not interested. Like, <laughs> I'm like completely like, oh yeah? That's what it is? Nah. Whatever. I'll get to it eventually, but I don't know. I probably should do it on stream so you guys can see me fail spectacularly because people like that kind of thing. But I'm not interested, so deal with it. Uh, goodness. I just like going around on patrol and beating up people. I like to beat people up. Looks like a dead body. Dead bodies, dead bodies all over the place. Ah, uh, well, too bad for them. Expansive colognes. Alright, well, that's gonna tell me what I need to know. There's that. There's that. This is what I'm after. There we Solve. Go. Yeah. Getting I solved it because I'm smart. Okay. Let's see. 
still have to do so that's there and then I gotta go to Tricorder Island okay gotta get the stronghold finished then the Tricorder Island thing done and by the time that's all done I'll probably be done with my stream Some of the, the movement in here is kind of weird, but whatever. There's something good. Did that. Alright, that shouldn't have worked that way. Somebody should have seen me. Oh well. There's like multiple factions of gangs in here, and the freaks are basically what's left of people who worked for the Joker. They work for Harley Quinn or just, you know. ever eat combos they were actually kind of trash they, they weren't nearly as good as they looked like on the bag or on the commercials they always looked delicious and I was like oh I want to get some and we didn't really get some in my house because we didn't eat that kind of stuff when I was growing up but um, I'd get them in the school vending machines sometimes and they were terrible like they were just not that good like the cheese stuff in them was awful and now I can't even eat it maybe I can it's probably not even made Probably made with some weird byproduct. They were gross. Combos. I mean, they always look delicious. And it's like, oh man, like pretzels and cheese? Yes, but they were terrible. They tasted like chalk with vaguely cheese flavored something or other. I don't know. Does anybody else like combos? I don't. I think they're bad. <laughs> Off. I don't eat too many snacks because if I eat snacks, I eat too many snacks. Like we've got, my daughter has chips with her lunch and things. Like she sells fruit and all the other good stuff, and she she eats healthy. But she, I give her like potato chips as a side, and when we get them, I eat too many. I eat far too many. Love chips, but I. That's why I don't eat them because. I know what we eat too many. I know I will eat too many.
there's anything left on the map other than that other thing that I didn't want to do. Oh, there's one more. There's this. Okay. I gotta talk to Penguin and get a reward. Alright. Well, I'll go down here and do this, and then I'll be done. Bonus time. Bonus soda. That's a game I'm gonna do in the future for you folks. So I'm gonna do Soda Drinker Pro, because it's dumb. But it's actually like, even the main game really isn't the game. The actual game is a bunch of, like, mini games that are buried in the menu. And, um, they're really intricate and they're difficult. And they're like old school platformers and stuff. And that's where actually, like, the good stuff is. They're really hard. Like, the soda drink stuff is just dumb, but. Oops, I'm messing up here. Gotcha. Gotcha. Got it. I was just warming up. All right. And I think that's it. I think I've done all those. So I'm going to go back to the tower, and I'm going to be done. So thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys whenever I'm able to stream next. Don't know. Day is going to be changing. So see you later.